Hey guys, Joe here with Initial Ascent. I want to take some time today and really walk you through the foundation of Initial Ascent, which all started with our frame that you see right here. We spent over three and a half years working with three different engineering firms to get this thing dialed in just right back in 2018 when we launched the product. Now, when we launched, we had 14 different generations of, of changes before we actually felt comfortable that we had the frame right. Since then, we've continued to bring innovation into this frame. Um, we are now on generation 19, and we feel like, without a shadow of a doubt, this is the most technically advanced frame on the market. So when you look at the frame by itself here, it only weighs 19 ounces, but yet we've got six different materials that go into this frame, and there's actually 19 different layers uh, within the frame as well. By itself, as you can see, the V shape of it follows kind of the natural shape of the human. And then as you turn it to the side, you can see it also, the contour follows the natural shape of our, of our backs as well. And that's all intentional. Our goal was actually spread the weight across your back. Where a lot of companies, they take the weight this way. Well, what happens is when you, do, when you take the weight this way, it puts a lot of strain on your back because you overcompensate. By having the weight spread across your back, your center, center of gravity is directly over your hips and allows you to stand upright, and it gives you much better carrying capacity. When you look at the way we've designed our frame and you think about what went into it, the, the foundation of it is carbon fiber. But as I said earlier, there's, there's actually six different materials that go in here. What we've done is we've designed it and tested it so that it gives more flexibility than straight carbon. If you do just straight carbon fiber, it becomes pretty rigid and there's not a lot of flexibility with it. One of the things that we know is when you're in the back country and you're going over deadfall and you need to be able to have some torsion flex when you're out there moving, our frame actually will twist with you as you go and it fits you very, very well. Um, the way we designed this for customization is we actually have six different adjustments for your torso length. You can see this center section right here. You can adjust this all the way up depending on your torso length to give you that custom fit. But we took it a step further. We also have three different load lifter adjustments. We want to get that angle just right so that we carry the load up a little bit higher. And a lot of companies don't do that, but we knew that was really important to make sure that we had that right. So we actually have three load lifter adjustments to give you even more customization. Uh, over the years, we heard from a lot of females out there and a lot of youth that they just couldn't find a pack system that would fit them right. Everybody's torso lengths, you know, were too long on all of their frames. So we came out with a frame a couple of years ago, the Invictus frame, which is designed specifically for female or for youth, and it brings that torso length just down a little bit. So if, you're, if you've got a torso length, say, from 13 up to 17 inches, the Invictus frame would be the perfect setup for you. Now, if you have anything greater than 17 inches, you know, up to 22 plus, then the Intergus frame would be the frame of choice for you. Uh, all of this allows for better customization, better fit, so that when you are in the backcountry, you can have the best experience possible out there. So if you have any more questions on our frame, go check it out at initialascent.com.